It's currently November 3rd, and in a few hours, I'm going to go see Time Stand Still, the new documentary about the band Rush. It's in theaters for one day only, and is said to follow the band as they embark on their R40 tour. We're watching Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> yeah. I'm going with my good friend Ken, a great drummer and longtime Rush fan, to get his opinion as well. Hey Ken. Hello. Time Stand Still documents the band's R40 tour, commemorating the 40th year since the release of their first album. That's not to be confused with the R40 Live DVD of the same concert tour, or the R40 Anniversary Collector's set that has footage spanning back 40 years, but not of the R40 tour. Instead, it has five previously released concert videos and another disc of unreleased material. In fact, Rush may be the most documented band in history. A cursory search of YouTube brings not only documentaries about the band, but documentaries about Rush tribute bands and a documentary about the roadies. That one's actually really good. I've linked it in the description. If you have any interest in the logistics and technical side of a concert tour, you should watch it. Uh, I have my fourth cup of coffee. That's always good. Concert footage is one thing, TV documentary is another, but this is a theatrical release. This is going to be bigger and better and look more cinematic. No one has done that before. Actually, yes they have. In 2010, Rush Beyond the Lighted Stage came out. It was a great documentary and looks very similar to this one to me, honestly. With all these bases already covered, I'm wondering what's left. What is this documentary going to give us? This band is probably the most documented band ever. What's left to say? What are you expecting to see? I really don't know. I, I thought Beyond the Lighted Stage, from what I could tell, pretty much said it all. It did a good job of showing how they just had this really strong fan base, didn't get a whole lot of press. The internet got bigger and technology in general fits with their whole theme, like the nerds had a voice and the Rush listeners that were my age, you know, grew up and started putting them in cartoons. And... Right. I think the, the clip from uh, the, the trailer for Beyond the Lighted Stage is Getty Lee saying, I think we're the world's biggest cult band. So, I always like to consider us the world's most popular cult band. It's almost to the point where the, they're not really a cult band right, anymore, everyone right. knows, so yeah. I really don't know what to expect with the documentary. I haven't really watched a whole lot, no trailers or anything. One thing I think we might get is insight into the fact that R40 was probably the last major tour that Rush will ever undertake. Shortly after the tour ended, rumors started surfacing about Neil Peart retiring from drumming, and he even said some things about this himself. That's what I'm looking for from this documentary, is insight into the band approaching the end of the road. We'll, uh, we'll go in and uh, we'll, we'll see you out here afterwards. All right. <laughs> so here we are, we've just come out. Ken, what did you think? Um, I liked it. it. It was cool. I kind of answered earlier, do we need another documentary? No. The, 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 the part about them giving it up was, was really interesting. From the opening scene, the clock starts to tick. We start with the band members talking about the beginning of the band, getting into the band, and then speak on facing the end of the band. When I started in this band, I was a kid. It wasn't until we had the conversations that we had that I started to think about the end. The film picks up essentially after the Clockwork Angels tour, which is after the events covered in Beyond the Lighted Stage. After taking a year off, the band decides to do one final tour and to retire from touring altogether. This film beautifully tells the tale of the end of the road for Rush, while honoring the fans that have allowed the band to succeed for 40 years. And I thought what this really was, was the thank you to the fans. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's kind of neat. You feel like a, you kind of a connection, not with the guys, but the music. It sure seems like they actually appreciate the fans and yeah. like it, you know. I've never been a fan of bands getting back together. The impermanent nature of a band is part of what makes them special, and is also what makes a band like Rush that has been able to stay together not only for 40 years, but consistently put out new music that is relevant to their fan base, essentially the mythical unicorn of rock and roll. If a band breaks up and they get back together, the entire reason they are able to do so is on the merit of their previous material. The same goes for a band that stays together, but becomes a legacy act. In both situations, these bands may put out new material, but they are quite often trying to capture what they were without understanding who they are now. The new material is not relevant to a wide audience as the cultural zeitgeist has shifted away from what the band was, and it's not relevant to the core fans of the band as it does not show a next step or deeper level of that band. My biggest question at the start of this piece was, does the documentary need to exist? 
And before I went in, my assumption was no. This is the most documented band in the world. We don't need any more. But the true answer is that this documentary was not created in spite of the fact that there were so many others, but because of them. The fact that there were countless documents surrounding this band is a testament to the fans that support the band by buying those DVDs and live records. Time Stands Still is the perfect way for Rush to say goodbye, thank you, we love you, to the fans that made them one of the biggest bands ever. We couldn't do that if our fan base wasn't there for us. They've given us the freedom to be us. It had more heart than I thought it would have. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of almost sappy at times. Right, like, right. I, you yeah. know, I like that kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. yeah. And finally, Neil Peart at times has been a divisive character in the world of German. At the time Rush broke out, Peart played with more speed and control than anyone else in the world of rock and roll. This caused a legion of fans to declare him the best ever case closed, which of course created an opposing angry mob that stated that he overplayed and was too stiff. This back and forth between fans and detractors pushed both sides to such extremes you would have thought that Peart was running for political office. No matter which side you fall on, or if you're like most of us and you're in the middle, the man was a game changer. He became the silent spokesperson for the small group of musicians trying to elevate rock drumming from its big, dumb past. He showed us that hitting hard and having chops were not mutually exclusive. He was ahead of his time, and the world of drumming was forever changed by his presence. I find it ironic that Peart, who for many years has been known to be a stoic private person, is one who has been very open about his craft. He doesn't like to meet fans or be interviewed as part of Rush, but he has put out multiple videos and done countless interviews about his drumming. Quite often the people that change the way we look at drumming come in and out of the world of prominence very quickly. Some are taken from us too early, some make a single impact and are never really seen again, and some just fade away. It's unique that we get to see a drummer's entire long, influential career, and then get to see him effectively retire in an elegant, meaningful way. Peart has been a class act through and through, and I respect and salute his path and his choice. So did you see the movie? What did you think? What was it like at the theater you were at? It was pretty busy where we were. Leave us a comment below or send us a tweet at Musicians Notes with the hashtag TimeStandStill. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's hit it.